Hi, Matt here. Today we're going to show you how to replace the suspension rods on a GE washer. The suspension rods support the tub. As the springs get weaker over time, the tub will bang around and start making noise. And if they completely fail, the washer will go out of balance. So let's jump into it. With over 2 million products in stock and the know-how to help you do it yourself, we are AppliancePartsPros.com. To change out the rods, all we'll need is a putty knife, a quarter inch nut driver, and a piece of heavy duty tape. Remember safety comes first, you want to make sure that the appliance is unplugged or the circuit breakers are off to avoid electrocution. Also make sure you turn off your hot and cold water supplies. Also make sure to remove your fill hoses by loosening them up with some pliers and then unscrewing them by hand. You want to make sure you put a towel down so you catch any water that may come out and also label the hoses so you remember which one's hot and which one's cold. In order to change out the part we have to lift up the top so we're going to go around back and use the quarter inch nut driver to take out the two screws that hold the console on. Once you get it loosened up you can take a putty knife and just kind of lift up on the screw to make sure it comes out. Set them aside. Then we can lift the console off. All you have to do is pull it back a little bit, lift up, and then pull it off and set it on top of the washer. Now that we have the console out of the way, we can remove the two screws that hold the top down. We're just going to slide this capacitor over a little bit. And then we're going to use the quarter inch nut driver to take them out. Now that we have those screws out, we're going to put the console back in place. Just going to lift it up and put the tabs in. And drop it down, push it forward. And we're going to use the quarter inch nut driver to put in one of the screws to hold it in place. Now we're back around front. We're going to lift up the washer lid so we can release the locking tabs that hold the top down. We're just going to use a putty knife to reach in and unlock them. They're located right here at the edge of each little hand opening in the front. And we're going to use the rim of the top to help lift up on it so they don't lock back in when we release them. Once you have them both released, we're just going to carefully put the lid down and tape it down so it doesn't fall open when we lift up the top. Now we can lift up the washer top assembly. We're just going to carefully lift it up and we're going to use a lanyard to support ours. But you can just put a towel across the top and lean it against the wall if it's close enough. Whatever you do, just make sure it's supported properly since there are no hinges connecting it to the cabinet. The suspension rods are all changed out the same way. The rears are a different part number than the fronts, so make sure you order the right ones. To take out the old suspension rod, we're going to reach in and grab it by the rod and lift it up so we can take the ball joint off the end and then lower it down. Then you want to guide the rod out through the little slot in the tub and then we can pull it out. Once you have it free, you can pull it off the machine. Here's the old suspension rod next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. To put the new suspension rod in, we're just going to get the tub out of the way, lower it down into place, and put it through the slot in the tub, and lift up on it. We're going to grab it, bring it up through the hole in the cabinet, and then put the ball joint back on. Once you have it on, you can set it in place, and then we can put the washer back together. We're going to take the lanyard out, and then carefully set the top down so it locks in place. Then we can remove the tape. Then we can go around back and use the quarter inch nut driver to take out the screw that holds the console in. Then we're going to lift the console up, just like before, and set it on top. Then we can use the quarter inch nut driver to put in the screws that hold the top to the cabinet. And then we can move the capacitor into place. Then we can replace the console.
Then we can put both screws in to hold the console on. Now they have the washer put back together. You can put the fill hoses back on, plug it back in, turn the water on, and take it for a spin. So that's all there is to it. If you need new suspension rods, you can get them at AppliancePartsPros.com. They're sold individually, but it's recommended that you change them as a set. And don't forget to leave a comment to let us know how your repair went. See you next time.